Hey, look, the baby's dead. Here we are. Um. How about the insurance companies write these incidents? I mean, to be fair, they look like mannequins. Oh yeah. Especially I think they almost made them look non-textured feet. Crappier to n make it not as traumatizing. <laughs> uh, but um, I was gonna say, not a person in LA dies without Mal looking at them. Huh? Yeah, pretty much. He's the one guy they got, and he's busy all day, every day. I see you in my peepers. I watch you every this day. This is still smoldering. It seems a bit dangerous to be walking around it. Yeah. You're wearing rubber shoes. No good to me. Wait, I'm thinking of lightning. Well, what kind of brand do the fire well, smoke? Well, if, if I remember yeah, correctly... Yeah, you want to probably say that, yeah? L.A. homes... Nearly none of them have basements. Yeah. Which means the likelihood of you just crashing through the burnt out floor is nil. Which makes it much safer than you would have expected. This is fucking amazing. Oh yeah. Look at this texture work. There's uh -huh. a clue somewhere. That is really impressive. Well, you wanna go burn down some houses? No, I, no. I feel that's where he's going. No look, it's Willie's fan thing! It's that's his air conditioner, you, that's what did it! That's what happens when you do it wrong. Oh, yeah. 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 No, I like fire, but I don't like fire necessarily, like, on things. I just like fire itself. Okay. Per a green fire. Yeah, bor uh, a barium. That, that's the chemical. He knows. Mm -hmm. That's why, that's why Willie regularly masturbates to uh, explanations of how the dragons in Reign of Fire work. The two chemicals hit each other. <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> To be fair, it's just because it's the only time I've seen someone think about that yeah, more yeah, than no, not exactly. at all. Yeah, that's enough to and get that's, you. And that's worth, like, and the, and commendation. The <laughs> and the goofiest part is that you know it's just because the person watched Die Hard 3. It's the same as Grouper's Bombs. Oh, just put, ah, whatever. Put shit together. Yeah, yeah, man. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go there. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, you thought slightly more about how a dragon works than everyone else did? Ever? Cool, I like that. I'm gonna talk about that in every LP that I can. Uh, unzip. You know? But also, it's because it happened to be in a really shitty, obscure movie. Ah, yeah. it's, a, it's so not why, shitty why, at all. Why wouldn't you take the excuse to talk about Rain the of Matthew, Fire? Matthew McConaughey fights a dragon. What's wrong about that? I didn't even know. I, you see that? I, for, I forgot he it's was even McConaughey in McConaughey and, like, Christian, Woody Harrelson. I said. Oh, Christian Barrel. Barrel. Christian Barrelson. Didn't even remember the cast, because I was too busy thinking about the dragon. <laughs> too busy. They reenact Star Wars. It's a beautiful moment for the children. Yeah. Yeah, arson's tough to get the clues. Bag of little fucking textures. It was the football. What about the dog? Did the dog get it? Dog Man, I can't off. even imagine living like next door to somebody whose home just burns down to ash and becomes a bunch of skeletons. Yeah, what do you say to those skeletons when you see them on the street later later that week? Stop fighting? Well, nah. if you live next door, you're probably like you're rubbernecking it real good. You heard the screams and or you were down there helping. Well, luckily the the way these folks died, there was no screams. It's true. They they passed yeah, out they, first. Silently. Alright. Hey man, as far as ways to go go, carbon monoxide's a okay by me. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to deal with the worst part. You, you, know have, what? you don't have to deal with any of it, really. Very few people burn alive at the end, right? Yeah. Like, everyone tends Smoke to just usually get... Gets it's only there. villains, really, that get kicked into flaming buildings. You suffocate first. Unless you're like a monk. Hey, Biggs! Too soon. Is this significant? Regulator vow. Oh, there's this great it's video. Fine. Of like a monk Detective trying to set himself on fire, mm -hmm. and like this lady Detective just like Phelps. knocks the fe the match away from him. They were supposed to be going it's, away. It's pretty cool. They want a trip somewhere. Huh? But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? What are the chances? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Santa Monica Boulevard. You like burning people that win? Is that what you like doing? He likes fire. Oh! Well, you can still catch him! Oh, uh, you- I like your gesture to pretend you're gonna chase, but you're not really oh, gonna. Uh, yeah, you- you can get him. Also, how often does a fucking arson cop have to chase anybody? Stop! LAPD! That was- yeah. that made it exciting. I would say that if you're an arson cop, and you see somebody at a crime scene tackle, that you- tackle, tackle. You have consistently Rising seen tackle. at other crime scenes, the answer is a 100% certainty. How much aid do I need to tap here? Taco, taco. I want a really good Am I not allowed to tackle him inside the restaurant? No, was, no, no. That would be rude. What's your name? Fireman. Herbert Chapman. 
So you like fires? Some. Watching them or setting them? The real deviant guys, to... like the weird, like, pockets. sort of pedophile dude, and then the guy that with the necrophilia. Yeah. They hire the actors with the faces, you, you know? Aren't you, Herbert? Well, I keep myself to myself. There it is. There's your forest fire creator. That's all it takes. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. It sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about it. It'd be creepy if the we'll guys started talking about how great Take the fire textures in. are as well. I want him for questioning later. You got it, detective. I don't know. Did, did, well, does he know that a bunch of babies case. want crispy? It is murder. It's I don't think it. To prove. I don't think it matters. Yeah, yeah man. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. Their house fires, coal accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a See, reason. This guy doesn't believe be in the potential Forget. of these fires and what greater crimes they can to allude this. to. I know it. What are you talking about? They both Our want a thing. Insurance. Just it's acknowledge that part. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. They both the want a thing. Are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full But he fucked obsession. the German lady. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the apartment nose in it. Help me, or stay out of my way. Whoa. You got it? Oh, maybe he's got something in. Maybe he's in with the fire boys. <laughs> and he doesn't want Cole to find out. Universal fire boys. We can hit the travel agent or try this suburbanly. Whoa! That's weird it didn't ask you for a location. It just did it. Let's go find the fucks that are even having the contest, shall we? Yeah, the stupid contest. Hey, how come everybody who wins your contest has their house burned down? That's the day of the contest! Uh, that's because they didn't read the fine print. <laughs> you burn their houses? Yes, we do! No, get away from me, fucking street crime. I'm hey. about the fires now. No, no, do it! There's no fire in that uh, crime. What about the fire from a gun? That's a little bitty fire. Yeah, that's a little bitch fire. Yeah, I can put that out with my spit. Piss on that fire. Yeah, okay, I'll be shooting a gun, Matt, and you put your tongue in it to put it out with your spit. No, no, I spit. I don't, who's putting the tongue in anything? That's the, well, you get a lot of spit off of the tongue with the drool. Okay, where, that's... Where, I, can we just bad abort? <laughs> can we just abort? Abort what? what? It's conversation. What are we aborting? Yeah. Is it a bit premature to abort this conversation? Let's go back to the crispy kids. We're getting the fucking... Yeah, yeah, go back what, to that class. Oh, Wooly, with the conversation coat hanger once again. Uh-huh. That's what they used to call you back in the day. Yeah. Conversation coat hanger. Not bad. I liked it. I like this song, too. I wonder it, if we can get, like, Baby It's Cold Outside or something like that. Mm -hmm. Probably not. So weird this is made by a bunch of Australians. Well, they'd be really, they really be knowledgeable about all types of crime. Thank you, thank you. So. I put it down, you picked it up. Yeah. I appreciate that. So that was weird that that texture of Boyer Supermarket was clear, then got blurry, then clear again. You know, kill you have the, to do kill them all, Phelps. Well, that'll clear your day. Well, this guy probably needs me to roll him over. Yeah, a little bit. Are you gonna figure it out, sir? His little bum poke. Let's hey. find out. Oh, Let's find out. Let's find out. Will he figure it out? I don't believe he will. Wow, he is proper fucking stuck up. You need some help. Give him a little... little oh, Cole's here to help you. There you yeah, go. it worked. You're free. Go, go now. You are free. No. no you're where do you want to go? You're trapped. I'm fine, but where does he want to go? That's what I need to know. There you go. You're welcome, buddy. You sent him on his way. You're welcome. Whoa! Everyone calm down. It's the best deal. For a second, I thought you were driving an airplane. Why would you... This is an airplane. This is... Oh, I hate it. I hate that ad. It's oh, that's so, like those, uh... So creepy. Trans, trans, whatever the fuck that, that, that airline was called with the amazing 
ads and like super classy. So everyone's smoking. Fly me. Detectives Phelps and Biggs. Oh, what are you talking about? Okay, it's whenever you think of old I airplanes and like the stewardesses that like that yeah, yeah. are like all like wearing their their Afghans and mm. like all buxom. Won a competition yeah, you're your thinking company. of uh, yes, that airline. Okay. They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. So we burnt down their house. Do you mind if I take a look at that? List of people I burnt. <laughs> that's what it says on the book. <laughs> My burn list. Family of three. That's I, I burnt those people. <laughs> I the burned Farrow real good. Family of five. Oh yeah, they got they got. Oh really yeah, the smell. Nice and burnt. Wafting. Nice and burnt. Huh. Everyone to Catalina Island. Catalina Island seemed like the place to be. All right, what was the names that I had to deal with here? Uh, I forgot. To uh, for the dead folks, I don't remember. Stephens were the ones that survived. Here they are. And what was Steffens. what was the other name though? Yeah, I don't remember that one. Time to mash. You're not gonna find it. Uh, yeah, it'll probably be Wait, faster to just you, do this. Wait, you can't back out to your evidence. Huh? I can, but I have to go out and in and out. And in. Yeah. The Sawyer family. Sawyer's. Rosewood Avenue. Cancelled. Yeah, there you go. Hey, buddy, what up? Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Oh. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of L.A. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh... Sure. But let's see what you say anyway. How much business do you do with Suburban? You get some kind of kickback from these guys. Oh, so now you're accusing me of taking kickbacks from realty developers. A little bit. You have some way of proving this, detective? I need the evidence. Couldn't have less evidence for yeah. this. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. You still do that, Phelps? Even Jesus Christ. Even if the tree is crispy burnt. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. Yeah. You do yeah. a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of Thousands. these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. And... Well, that's clearly full of shit. You're lying, Cunningham. Some kind of racket going on here, and you're in on it. His eyes are looking around. I love it. I love I'm that. Involved in a conspiracy for a twenty-dollar family ticket to Catalina. How are you going to prove that? Show me the evidence. I can't. You're Show off the hook it for now. You're off Until the hook. I doubt you, you, son of a bitch. While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky? Christ, that's fucked up, man. Sorry to hear that. That's crazy. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Who offered that? Sure. Who offered the prize? Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. I go. see. Okay. Thanks for your help. Bam, bam, uh, no bam. Wish I could do something Thank for you, the family. Thank you, ma'am. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Good yeah, man. Great. Church collection Horror, plate. But great. I wish I could do something for them. Well, not actually anything. Just <laughs> I, w I just want to say that I wish I could. Oh, I find that just so you disgusting. Drive. That drives me nuts. So where do you want to go? All right. Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban well, it's the next thing, yeah. We we do. Great partners must think alike. We're the best friends. I don't know, Cole. You seem kind of like a dirty cop and a piece of shit. We're, we're my best friend. I mean, it's it's a bad desk, but at least Herschel's great. I'm glad we can. Yeah, it's just, just so tired. Me. <laughs> This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I, I, we just do. got sure, here. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your help. Done and done. And Elysian then they just let them have free reign. The suburban redevelopment. So what? Look at whatever if you, think you like. I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence. You're out of your mind. Well, time to go. Kind of go rough up the guy's office. Um, there might be a newspaper in that office. There might be. Scream let's, at whoever's in there. Let's take a look there. inside. 
Although he clearly doesn't want me to be here. No, no, he doesn't know. He doesn't even know that you're here. Damn it. November. Oh! <gasps> what do you got? Uh-oh, more than nothing. The biggest evidence of all. So the Legion Fields builds the houses, while the Suburban Redevelopment Fund foots the bill. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, now where's Tony Soprano in all this? Probably not, not born yet. Yeah, he's probably a sperm. Because whenever I see like a housing racket go on, that's what I think of. Oh, do they have a housing racket, oh, the Sopranos? Yeah, 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 for sure. It's a huge one. They, they do they do these construction things where like you just have days where no one works. Oh, so it's, it's like Montreal then. And it's yeah. just a, it's a day where you just <laughs> sit around. And fucking, like, literally you know, everyone gets one? paid to not work. Ah, yeah, yeah, that is like that Montreal. Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you describe the actual racket <laughs> that is known to exist in Montreal. The fucking Sopranos <laughs> breaks it down for you. Fire Station 32. I hate that racket. Who exactly is this guy, Lynn? And if anyone tries to work, they get their fucking ankles broken. There's a great article I saw the other day. It was like, why does Montreal hate Prince Arthur Street? Part 3. And it says here they've been redeveloping it for like the last two years when they said it was going to take one. Oh, here's over on Prince Arthur. Yeah. yeah, here's photos of a few things. Number one, literal holes filled with garbage. Supposed and to it be shows literal holes filled with fucking garbage. Supposed to be a pretty we tree over there. Yeah. Well, the fucking highway over on NDG. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but that started back in 2015 with an estimated finishing time of 2019, and they're not even halfway done. Why? I had to look around the Sounds place. like Montreal. This fucking place, man. Do you man. believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Oh. Not German Evidence stuff. An explosion. <laughs> no yes, the German sign. known to be a wildly fanciful and illogical people. Come and take a look at this. He's even more aggressive <laughs> with the helmet off. Your fire out. <laughs> yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory. And it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove the music is evidence so enough. Well, sure. yeah. okay, Phelps, you're a bright penny. The beats in my head tell me that you're you going to tell some gas useful gas. shit. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding you in the room. Got to do a little puzzle here, Willie. Now the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. We had mosquito coils in Grenada, and I'm not a fan of them. They don't smell great. They also don't work as well as you would think. Doing the things, thinking, and puzzles. Oh, you guys solving your problems again? Solving. Bunsen. Burners. Not knowing what to do. What do you... The balloon's got to be all the way on the right. Perfect. You solved the case, Wooly. Look at it. Look how solved. Not it. that hand. What do, you, what do you mean that hand? No, go down here. It's weird that Cole is 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 barred from using his left hand. Nope. Wooly, the balloon has to make contact with the mosquito coil. Your regulator's in position. You got one done. No, no. The the balloon is the one is. It's the yellow thing. Is on that the? the yeah. I, I didn't it, know it that. It doesn't one. look like a balloon that at does, all. That but doesn't look like a balloon. I the, didn't know that's what. That's what. But the reason why it doesn't because it needs to be blown up with air, so it looks like nothing right yeah, now. Yeah, I didn't know that was the balloon. Looks like a big floppy condom. Kind of. It looks like a weird gold thing to me. Or like a big tooth. Gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's gonna ignite. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. It's weird that <laughs> that fucking Biggs is telling you how to do it. Now, now it looks like a fucking. Whoa! Oh my god. That's crazy. Whew. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. 
Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. At the end You're of the welcome, day, that's Diggs. just the methods. We still need to know the, the, the people and the... Yeah, and the but first you have to determine whether or not it's even intentional or not. You're just a manufacturing. You need to go down there and, and talk to some guy at Insta and go, Oh, no, somebody See totally him? fucked with this. Or, oh, no, this is... A, this is a, we designed it this way. I love a good fire station. Hey, That's buddy. cool. You dropped something? We used to get to visit those for summer camp. It was fun. Really? Yeah. Did you burn things you down in order to give them work to do? Yeah. Yeah. No, but I remember asking if all I could right. slide down the pole. Yeah. And they said no. You'll do that when you're older, Willie. Yeah. Try to poke me in the nose. Your parents try to keep you off of... Show? The fire pole. The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. He loves fires. Yeah, we, um... He's the kind of guy that would like for a lot of things. A friend of the family was like a fire guy in Toronto. <laughs> and, uh, their training was based... It's You have to basically be able to solve anything that would happen in the city. Mm -hmm. So theirs in Toronto was you have to be able to sprint up the CN Tower. Oh. Because what if the CN Tower is on fire? So, like, the most extreme thing possible. Well, yeah. Start and and, and I, I forgot the time limit they had, but I think it was, like, under 12 minutes. Oh, that's ridiculous. Make it to the top. That's, like, a four-minute mile. It's really that's, rough, and, like, that that's their training, because in the city, that's what the highest level Well, I say be. if the LA CN Tower's on fire, you just let that eyesore burn down. Shot. I see. Well, let the duty manager burn. for that's correct. Mr. Rasick. We don't need oh dollars. no, the Blue Jays are in the CN Tower and it's on fire. Oh no. How'd they all get in there? That's crazy. They were hanging they were having a meet and greet with uh, most of the leaves. Oh, I was about to say was, <laughs> the maple leaves were up there at the same time. What? That's crazy. What? Oh well. They just all spontaneously combusted. I don't think you're supposed to find evidence. There's no, that's no, you just got to talk to some jackass. Yeah, but I'm not getting an X prompt on him. I think these are all like losers. No one yeah, look at are. these losers. Doing their jobs. Like suckers. Oh. That fucking Insta Heat model New again. And improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Mmm, Firestone tires, you say. Aren't those what the, the tires that could just explode? The, they're the fire. They're the tires that just didn't work. Okay. And then people died. That guy looks important. You scream at him through the window. And then it was like, oh, massive recall. And I was like, hope you got the message. <sighs> if you didn't, probably gonna die. I'm gonna be careful and run my car without tires. It's the only way to be safe. This. Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Uh, let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. Huh? It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, Flip I, once. As someone can sneak up to the side of your house and kill so everybody. <laughs> yeah, ask Bob Newhart here what else he knows repair. about this. I don't think there's anything From the Bob Newhart wrong show. with the design. Yeah, I mean, mm. he seems to. Oh. Mm. Hold on. He, what was the exact question? Tell me you're not manufacturing fault or so. Yeah, that's not a manufacturing He doesn't seem to think so. I don't. Or if I think you're a liar. I think you're lying, Razik. Either these heaters are flawed in inception, or they were badly put together. Which is it? If you want to pursue that line of questioning, we could have our day in court. No, I need to see some evidence. Credentials up against yours. This is a dead end for sure. I'm not an engineer. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You I, I felt like accusing you for a this second. This has got to be a doubt. <laughs> You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, you've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Crispy battered babies. That's not a great, this like, is, tempura. This is the equivalent of me being able to walk up to your car and knock on the back Maybe three times, and it will explode failure. when you turn it on. They yeah. tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years, and then it perishes. 
So the guy's names that I've been seeing doing the repairs mm. on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. Yeah. <laughs> you employ accredited mechanics to do this. We call them installers. Uh, technically, they're guests. I think you might have had a piece of evidence where it showed them. the guys that were responsible they know for what they're doing, detective, if that's what you're trying last to servicing apply. the heaters. I'm not sure, but... I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Maybe not, then. Okay, I'll get okay. it for you. Huh, looks Here like there's is. a Joseph Sets Firemans there. on this list. No, no, yeah. Yeah. Housing Flame Stag? <laughs> what are you doing here? Magma Dragoon, get out of here! What the fuck is the hell, man? Pyron? Hmm. I want to run it by R and I. Cross-reference for arsonists. Obviously. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use Burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! So you see, like, apparently the last person that serviced this was Cinder! Hmm. Oh, that's just his street name. Oh, yeah. what's, what's his real name? Ashes to Ashes. Oh, the, oh, mm, mm, mm. It seems Fuma has <laughs> taken a look. I think he had a phone in his office. He does. Oh, but there's no one right there. Someone yeah, but you're in the office. Yeah, no. we get the office phone, oh, office phone, office phone, office phone. I think his name is Phelps. He brought in that case. Just that steal that lady's phone. Hey, Dame, I'm gonna use your phone. Don't worry about it. That's. Oh, I can't, oh, use, no, that I can't use that phone. There's... Never mind. I'll just see my. All out. right. Well, how about you? No. It, it begs. No. Begs, please. Can I not, uh, Herschel? Oh, Herschel, Come on, man. Thank oh, you. Oh, he kind of clipped through you a little bit. There we go. How about this? Maybe phone? the secret oh, phone. Okay, I'm pretty sure the phone was in his office, but okay. The guy you just talked to. I think he's yeah. a bit of a gangster. He just asked if he could use his phone. A bit of a gangster. What the hell? Where is this phone? It's probably black and hard to see. Like it's uh, on the table over there. Not on his desk. So yeah, it's right there. It's, it's right, right there. there. To the left. To the left. Up. I see it. Why don't you put the phone down? I swear, this town is operator. Message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. Oh, right. You. Detective. I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Like you? Okay, There's no Remedy. way this call didn't take like an hour and a half. Yeah. Clemens, Walter, right? Elbert, Think of John, Gable, Leroy, Google. Kelligrew, wait, wait, wait. Peter, Cutner, Robert, Limehouse, Albert, Manning, Franklin, Neves, Raymond, O'Brien, Thomas, Ryan, Matthew, Spurgeon, William, Barley, Reginald, Jeez. Zurich, Stephen. Uh, what was the first Clemens one? Walter. Previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Amazing. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Why do you have arsonists working for your heater repair, Ryan, sir? Ryan, Matthew. Charged for contempt of court. Attempted murder. Oh. Plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit. Okay, Police five of them. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. I'm just a voice AI on the phone, Phelps. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery. I feel like you're talking basic. to Siri. Desperate well, but times indeed. The old timey Siri. What a skunk. Walking out on his wife like that. It's a hero cop that walked out on his wife like that. Made out of newspapers. He made out with newspapers? I you're lying. Are you gonna steal a fucking instant I'm absolutely truck. driving you're one of these the fucks around. <laughs> so what do you want? How else are you gonna sneak into the Insta Heat factory? That's this is true. Oh. Well, you're at the you're Insta at Heat factory. You know the way. Okay, maybe you should and go talk exactly to the guy with all the, the clues about all his criminals. Oh, I assumed we were gonna go find those people. Well, you mean would... like hunt LA for all of them? <laughs> What if he just told you where now, they were Now at? we're gonna yeah, scream you're, at you're this right, guy about right, the criminal. Right. That's a much more logical progression point. I think you, you should still try your, your, He's, your uh, version. working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. Bad dressing in 3rd, huh? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley. Where is he? Beverly and Maricopa. Oh my god, here we go. Well, we are doing it. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do. But my men have a right to some privacy. Don't I jumped the gun a little bit. Something? Show him and keep quiet. 
Well, you're missing what? some textures there, uh, what Herschel. The hell? Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, he's been showing. As long as his face retains some form of cohesion, it's fine. Here. You know what's great when you know, when cops like uh, scream at people to around, allow them crazy. to search stuff. Oh, and those people go, don't you need a warrant or something? The or something makes the cop go, oh, thank God they don't know that I actually really need one. If you invite me in, that's probable. Yeah, I'm like a vampire. Cops. Yeah, that's that's a <laughs> reason. Invite me in. That's that's good enough reason for me to be able to check your shit. You out. Invite me in. I'm free to slap you and look at your underwear. Oh man, that's some good underwear. I can stump your wife too. You invited me in. A lot of these, a lot of these uh, anarchy essays. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Says the person that, that like not says the person, but the person that works for a job and gets paid. Ryan wants the world to be a better place. Don't we all? No. 